welcome back guys welcome back to that brand new video in today's video i'll show you how you can create um rockets on roblox so you're gonna start off by having oops uh, i don't know why it's doing that really all right so you want a sorry speak you want a particle emitter inside of your engine so you want an engine part and you want the rocket part and a launch button this is in case our launch button and it needs to have a click detector in it all right so next what you want to do is you're going to go in here <clears throat> the rocket and you're going to add a body velocity just rename this body velocity quickly to thrust and you're going to add a body angular velocity and just rename that one to uh, turn all right so Next, we're gonna rename the max. You're gonna add the max torque. I don't know how to pronounce that, but to infinite, 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 and the max force is gonna be set to infinite, infinite, infinite. Make sure the velocity on the body velocity is set to zero all the way, and the angular velocity on the other one is set to zero all the way also. So there we go. I'm gonna get your rocket particle and disable that. Make sure it's locked apart. It looks better. I'm gonna add a script inside of our click detector. Alright, so let's do to detect our click detector when it's click we're gonna script dot parent dot mouse click connect function like that. And <clears throat> after that we're gonna do a wait statement. We're gonna wait for one second, then we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot engine dot engine particle dot enabled is equal to true and we want it to like have ignition so we want to wait a few seconds before it lifts off so we're going to do wait and then one second maybe 0 0.7 seconds actually and then we're going to do <coughs> script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot rocket dot thrust is equal to Vector three dot new thirty. Oops, thirty. Uh, no, it needs to be zero, thirty, and zero. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired right now. It's pretty late. And then we're gonna do. I'm gonna like this. And uh, screw the parent, the parent, the rocket dot turn. Oops, actually thrust dot velocity. And we can turn dot angular velocity. Is equal to vector three dot new, and we're gonna do zero and then zero again, and we're gonna do zero point one, zero point one. There we go. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's what you wanna have. So let's try this out. Make sure the trigger part is enabled. So let's uh, go ahead and play it. I'll leave a quick model in the description for you guys to take. But um, here it is. So let's change the camera subject quickly. See right there? It just lifted off. It's right there. And we can change our camera subject quickly. Um, there you go. You can see right here that we have the model right here. I'm trying to follow it. You can see right here it turns in midair and it's like a missile. Uh, but let's say that we want it to be a little bit slower. We can do zero 05 and let's make it a um, 60 thrust. That's better. <coughs> right, so let's go right here next to the rocket and we can change our camera subject to. Let's change it to the. Um, rocket itself can launch it like this and we can view it so there we go you can see right here it actually starts to turn which that is how you make a gravity turning um, rocket on Roblox well I really hope you enjoyed the video and yeah I'll basically see you guys in the next video I hope to drop a video tomorrow and um, and that's probably not so long in not a long time because it's pretty late now but um Anyways guys, see you in the next video.